Samsung's Z Fold 7 may have an advantage over next year's Z Fold 8. Here's why. The Samsung Z Fold 7 only just launched, but there is already rumor of the Z Fold 8 from the elect to check out. And it's probably concerning news for a key component of Samsung's foldables. The backplate, which supports the inner folding display and works with the hinge to make the phone fold and unfold, is constructed of durable and light titanium on the Z Fold 7. But Samsung is allegedly mulling over shifting back to a carbon fiber reinforced plastic construction, which was utilized on all Galaxy Z Folds between the Z Fold 3 and Z Fold 6. A key reason stated for this would be the difficulty of acquiring titanium parts from China. That might represent a huge challenge for Samsung given US tariff proposals. While it would technically be a downgrade, it regrettably makes sense that Samsung would be considering factors outside what's best for the phone when it comes to its components. It would be awkward for Samsung to take this step backwards, given how the Z Fold 7 just achieved a huge durability triumph by surviving 500,000 folds, 50% more than the Z Fold 6, in independent testing. While Samsung made various improvements to the Z Fold 7's architecture, the revised backplate certainly contributed to this result. Samsung first employed a titanium plate on last year's Z Fold SE, a limited-run, limited-availability model that paved most of the way to the superb Galaxy Z Fold 7. It helped slim the phone dramatically, but as the elect notes, it also meant that Samsung could no longer incorporate a digitizer layer for the S Pen, since the metal would cause interference with signals from the pen. If Samsung returned to carbon fiber reinforced polymer, a possible benefit of the downgrade would be the reinstatement of stylus functionality to the Z Fold 8. However, the two concerns with that are A, the phone could get thicker again as a result and B, Samsung is supposedly already working on various stylus designs that could operate without having a digitizer. With a starting price of $2,100, the Z Fold 8 is positioned as a premium gadget targeted for professionals tech enthusiasts, and customers wanting the best in mobile innovation. Its adaptable design and powerful functions make it particularly appealing to individuals who seek a smartphone that easily transitions between productivity and enjoyment. For those who seek innovative technology and a polished user experience, the Z Fold 8 offers a compelling alternative. The Samsung Z Fold 8 establishes a new benchmark in folding smartphone technology. Its revolutionary design, sophisticated display capabilities, strong performance, and professional-grade camera system combine to produce a device that redefines what a smartphone can achieve. As the foldable industry continues to expand, the Z Fold 8 stands out as a testament to Samsung's commitment to pushing the boundaries of mobile innovation. For those wanting a device that integrates functionality, design and new technology, the Z Fold 8 gives an unrivaled experience. One of the main aspects of the Z Fold 8 is its alleged crease-free display, a big leap forward in foldable screen technology. Samsung is apparently using a laser-drilled metal display panel, developed in partnership with Fine N Tech, a supplier also related to Apple's foldable phone projects. This sophisticated technology is aimed at erasing the obvious crease that has been a recurrent problem in earlier foldable devices. For users, this innovation leads to a smoother and more immersive watching experience, free from visual distractions. Whether you're viewing videos, reading, or multitasking, the seamless display increases both beauty and functionality. Additionally, the crease-free design improves longevity, making the device more desirable to consumers who value both form and function in their smartphones. Samsung is reportedly increasing the screen size of the Z Fold 8, allowing consumers more space for productivity and enjoyment. The larger display is perfect for things such as editing documents, watching films or gaming, delivering a more immersive and adaptable experience. This enlarged screen real estate also increases multitasking, allowing users to run multiple apps side by side with more ease. In addition to the larger display, the Z Fold 8 is rumored to boast enhanced cameras that rival those of standard flagship smartphones. With better image quality and innovative functionality, the device is well suited for photography hobbyists and pros alike.
These innovations make the Z Fold 8 a formidable tool for both work and leisure, attracting those who desire a device that can easily move between productivity and enjoyment. The foldable smartphone market is growing increasingly competitive, with Apple apparently planning to introduce its first foldable iPhone. Despite this, Samsung is employing its experience and innovation to maintain its leadership in the sector. The Z Fold 8 is likely to offer enhanced third-party app support, making sure that consumers have access to a large choice of specialized applications created specifically for foldable screens. This increased competition between Samsung and Apple is likely to stimulate greater innovation, rewarding consumers with more advanced features and improved device options. For users, this competitiveness could result in superior technology at comparable rates, making foldable smartphones a more enticing choice for a broader audience. While the Z Fold 8's advances are astounding, they are likely to come with increased production costs, potentially yielding a premium price tag. For those who value novel technology, greater functionality, and a refined design, the expenditure may be beneficial. However, the price could be a barrier for others who are more budget conscious. For those prepared to spend on a device that combines innovation, performance, and design, the Z Fold 8 gives a glimpse into the future of mobile technology. Its features and capabilities make it an appealing option for customers seeking a next-generation smartphone experience. The Samsung Z Fold 8 represents a significant step forward in the evolution of foldable smartphones. With its crease-free display, robust technology, and increased usability, it tackles many of the drawbacks encountered in earlier generations. As competition in the foldable industry rises, Samsung's focus on innovation and user experience sets the Z Fold 8 as a strong contender. Whether you favor performance, design, or utility, this gadget offers a well-rounded product that appeals to a range of needs. For those seeking a smartphone that combines revolutionary technology with practical usage, the Z Fold 8 could be the upgrade that redefines their mobile experience. Next, the S26 and Z Fold 8 may certainly get this huge but underestimated improvement. People tend to focus mostly on the big-ticket elements like the chipset and cameras when new phones are announced. There are various additional components as well, like the memory and storage chips, that fly under the radar but yield incredible benefits when they're improved. One such upgrade is probable for the Galaxy S26 series, at least a part of it, and most likely the Z Fold 8 as well, because of the chipset they might utilize. Qualcomm introduced its new smartphone so C, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 yesterday. The business has named Samsung on the list of brands that will employ this processor. This leaves the door open for the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy model to be used in at least certain variations of the S26 series and in the company's top foldable. It would scarcely be shocking if Samsung opts for this chipset, given that the S25 series relies on last year's flagship Qualcomm CPU, the Snapdragon 8 Elite, and so does the Z Fold 7. One of the improvements Qualcomm has made to its latest chip is the support for UFS 4.1 storage, this UFS 4.0 on the Snapdragon 8 Elite. The new standard delivers higher read rates, up to 25% increased power economy with more stable thermal performance, and security upgrades. Whichever Galaxy phones acquire this processor would then be compatible with superior UFS 4.1 storage. Micron, which is swiftly emerging as a prominent memory and storage provider for Samsung, has already debuted its UFS 4.1 chip, and it's likely to be a major supplier of chips for the S26 series. One might thus be cautiously optimistic that the undervalued UFS 4.1 support is on the cards for these devices. So that's all we know for now. We'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we have more information. Thanks for watching.